Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Let's get this party started, shall we? The first thing you're going to need is Proton Up QT installed. If you already have it installed, you can skip ahead, use the chapter jumps. But for those of you who do not, we're going to go ahead and open up the Discover Store, search for Proton, and uh, you will see Proton Up QT. Go ahead and install that and run it from the start menu. Once you have it installed, go ahead and run it and add GE Proton 7-51 Diablo 4 Beta and install it. Remember, once you fully install it, you must restart Steam before the new version of Proton will show up. Okay, so now we have the proper version of Proton. Let's go ahead and grab the Battle.net installer. You may already have this somewhere, but just in case you don't, we're gonna go to the Battle.net website and we'll download the Battle.net launcher installer file. See, I've already got it here. Okay, we're now ready to open Steam. Go to your library. And uh, we're gonna add a game, a non-Steam game. We're going to browse to our downloads folder or wherever you put the Battle.net installer. In my case, I put it in downloads and you will select the battle.net setup.exe and add selected programs. Okay, now if you type in battle.net in your search box over here, you should see battle.net setup.exe is there and installed. Next, we'll head over to the gear icon. Inside the gear icon, we're gonna go to properties, we're gonna go to compatibility, we're gonna force the use of compatibility and we're gonna set it to the Diablo 4 beta that we installed earlier with Proton UpQt. We'll go ahead and run Battle.net. While we're waiting, let's make sure that we have Proton Tricks installed. I have Proton Tricks already installed, but we'll install it here in just a minute for those who do not. So while we're waiting for Battle.net to finish up, we'll go to the Discover Store and we will search for Proton again. This time we'll search for Proton Tricks, right? So if you don't have that installed, go ahead and do that now. We're going to need it. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and log in to the um, Battle.net installer. Now I would close Steam completely with the, not completely, but close out the interface that way it won't interfere and keep popping up in front of you as you're typing. This is why I highly recommend you use an actual physical keyboard and mouse for this because Battle.net absolutely hates the Steam overlay keyboard. Okay, so once we get logged in, we obviously have no games installed. We'll just go ahead and close. And we're ready to go ahead and configure this guy up. I'm going to give you a couple of settings that I like to change for all my Battle.net installs. So go to settings. And the first thing we're going to do is on game launch, we're going to exit Battle.net completely and we'll show a brief countdown. And we'll turn off launch Battle.net when I start my computer. We want Battle.net to close down so it doesn't sit in the background and do stuff and potentially take away focus. We're also going to turn off limiting our download bandwidth so that things come down as fast as possible. Now we'll go ahead and install Diablo 4. Now you'll find out you can't install Diablo 4 because it's not out yet, but if you change your game version to Diablo 4 beta, now you can go ahead and install it. Now, for those of you who want to install it Locally, you can leave the defaults here, but this will install Diablo 4 into the Proton prefix. You probably don't want that. If you want it installed internally, you're going to want to navigate somewhere inside of Home Deck and have a folder in there for your games. So since I don't have one in there, I'll go ahead and open up the Dolphin file browser and I will go to the Home directory and I will add a new gaming folder for games, right? Then I'll go back here. I'll have to probably go back a folder or something to get it to refresh. But let's jump back in here. Home, deck. 
Great, and inside of games. Go ahead and hit start install. Now you will have the game installed separately from the Proton prefix. So you can use that install again if you want to say share it with another Proton prefix such as your other Battle.net. Now if you want to install this on your SD card, of course go to run slash media and select some location on your SD card. My SD card is currently uh, kind of full. I don't have room because I've already got Diablo 4 installed on my SD card in another Proton prefix. But if that's if that's where you wanted to install it, that's where you would go. Run slash media and your SD card. Now if you've already got it installed somewhere, which I do, you can go ahead and click the locate game and navigate to where it is. In my case, I have it under high seas and beta. So if I hit open, there you go. It'll pick it right up and we're good to go. So now you know how to do it internally as part of the Proton Prefix, internally as a separate install, and externally on another device. Hopefully that covers everything you guys need. So now we're going to use Proton Tricks to figure out where the Proton Prefix is. Right here it'll tell us that the Battle.net setup is that folder number. We'll open up Dolphin and we'll go to Compat Data Folder, which is, for those of you who don't already have a shortcut, right here. I'll have a link in the description below. And we need to go to this folder number. And there it is. It just happens to be the most recently modified one. So inside of there, we're going to drill in, go to our drive C, go to uh, program files, battle.net, and we're going to copy the location of battle.net.exe. That way we can paste it right into our launcher settings inside of Steam. Now, cutting and pasting doesn't work 100% without using a real keyboard and mouse. So once again, I recommend using a real keyboard and mouse for this. Uh, so you'll see when we go to properties and we hit browse, we don't want to run the setup every time. That's ridiculous. We're going to go ahead and paste that with the keyboard. It doesn't work any other way. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's, it's a glitch. But if you paste it in, you can figure out how else to get it in there if you don't have a real keyboard. I recommend doing that though. So now instead of launching the actual setup EXE every single time we run this, which is ridiculous, it's going to actually run the installed version of the Battle.net launcher from within the Proton prefix. We're no longer running the setup anymore. We're actually running Diablo 4 beta. Great. So we went back to desktop mode. Let's go ahead and launch this game now. So if you had some other Battle.net game, such as Overwatch 2 or some other Battle.net game installed, this is a completely separate install. And you might want to do that because we have to use a specific version of Proton for just this game. That version of Proton may not work correctly with other Blizzard.net games. All right, so now the other problem we typically get is you can't see the play button. You install it, you run it, but you can't see the play button or the install button. Double clicking on the very top of the window, again, a mouse is very helpful for this, will help you resize that window where you can see the button. Okay, you will get the GPU error message. You can go ahead and ignore that. And sometimes when the Battle.net launcher closes in the background, it throws this error. This is normal, just hit close and it goes away. It happens about every third time that you try. I don't know what it is. You definitely don't want Battle.net running back there. And you can see Diablo 4 is running fine. It's logged us in and we can go through our initial setup. So I'll make some changes here. Um, I do want to increase the font scaling. That's something that you would probably want to do on a little tiny screen. And uh, everything else is just sort of whatever you'd like. And so there we go. We know that it works. That's great. We're good to go. Let's get out of here. Now, let's say you have an existing game, such as Overwatch 2, that has its own Battle.net, and you would like to combine the installation of Diablo 4 with this other version of a Battle.net game. We're going to go ahead and add a new Steam game, just like we were doing before. We are going to choose the Battle.net launcher. And we are going to run it once, just to have the Proton prefix made. Now, you do need, of course, to go in and change the compatibility layer to uh, the Diablo 4 beta. And we're going to run it just long enough to have the Proton prefix built. 
And as soon as you see this little pop-up asking you to select a language, we can crawl out of that. It's been built. Now we're going to use our buddy Proton Tricks again to figure out what the folder number is for that brand new uh, version of Battle.net setup. And there we go. And here's our old one. So I have Overwatch 2, which is, has a Battle.net install already in it. And I have the new one, which is right here. We're going to leave that up. And we're going to go ahead and head over to the Dolphin file browser. And we're going to go to Compat Data. And we're going to look for these two folders. Okay, so this is our brand new Proton prefix where Battle.net was getting was installed. And here's our old one. So I'm going to put that in another window right over here. So these are the two folders that we're dealing with. This is the new one and that's the old one. We're going to open up a new window and I'll show you why in just a minute. So we want another version of Dolphin sitting over here. I'm just going to move that right over there. You'll see why in a minute. Okay, we're going to grab this file number. We're going to grab this, hit rename, and then you can just grab that, copy it to your clipboard. And then we're going to delete it. That's right, we're going to delete that folder. So now it's not taking up any more space. We're going to create a new link a new sim link in this case. We're gonna paste in the name for the new link is the folder number we deleted. We're gonna right click our Overwatch 2 and hit copy location and paste it in. Now what we're basically doing is saying instead of using 407 blah blah blah, make all of your Proton prefix calls into this sim link folder. So now we only have, we only have one copy now of Battle.net. We're gonna copy the location of that folder because we're going to need to change this now inside of our launcher. So this, of course, is still pointed to the Battle.net installer. We don't want that. We're going to go ahead and hit Browse, paste in the location. And we're going to navigate into the Prefix folder, Drive C, Program Files, x86, Battle.net, and choose the Battle.net launcher. So we're actually using the launcher inside of my Overwatch 2's Battle.net, which is great. So now we have one copy of Battle.net, and we have two different games. So we're going to go ahead and run this. And what it's doing is it's reaching into that prefix and running the version that I run for Overwatch. That's why my credentials are already there, right? That's how you know it worked. If we were running a separate version, as we saw earlier in the video, you'd have to log in again. As you can also see, Overwatch is already installed in this prefix, right? So it defaults to what I played last, which is Overwatch 2. So if we uh, jump over to Diablo 4, you can see I've already installed Diablo 4 under this Proton prefix, so it's already here. But if you needed to install it, do the same thing that I showed earlier on, uh, deciding on where you wanted to install it, if it's gonna be internal, internal, but a separate folder, or external. Great. So now one size fits all. We have one Battle.net install for two different games. And uh, of course, we do have to concern ourselves with the uh, compatibility layer. We'll fix that in a minute, but for now, let's go ahead and name this uh, something useful, Diablo 4 Beta Shared. I've got a full standalone version of Diablo 4 already installed. Okay, so we're in good shape. Now we need to go to Overwatch 2, though, and make sure that Overwatch 2 still works. Now, what you have to remember is you probably have a different Proton version uh, in here than you do for the other launcher. Now, that could cause some problems. So, what we want to do is we want to make absolutely sure, first off, that uh, it actually still comes up. The battle end still comes up. And Overwatch 2 is, of course, still there. You'll also notice, too, that whatever you played last is what shows up in the front. Right, so whatever you played last, if it was Overwatch, that would have showed up first. If it was Diablo 4, that would have showed up first. That's one of the nice things about putting it in its own uh, location. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that Overwatch 2 works correctly, still. Yeah, they're doing maintenance, so there's this weird queue thing going on, but it works, that's what we're looking for. And uh, we'll make sure that Diablo 4 still works.
As you can see, it's loading up fine. And you'll also notice that when Battle.net closed in the background, it did not crash this time. It does not always crash. So for those of you who don't want to close it because sometimes it crashes, don't worry, it doesn't cl crash every time. Okay, great. All seems to be working okay, we're queued up. Okay, once again, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set this up. The only thing that I'd recommend here as you go in is to change the font scale from medium to large. After all, we are on a small screen. Everything else is pretty much defaulted. And that's it. You can see that it works and it works well. And there we are, we, there we have it. You now have Diablo 4 running, whether you decided to do it as a separate install or if you decided to uh, hop on your other Battle.net installs. Everything's pretty straightforward here, but if you have questions, please leave those down below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. This video will get updated if we need to do so in the near future. Thanks always so much for watching and take care.